In the Pacific Northwest, hydropower has long been the top renewable energy. The Columbia River Basin leads the nation in hydropower production. But it is not without its downside for rivers, fish, and other habitats. And the dam and power generation system, despite updates, is 100-year-old technology. So part of the OSU research is to revisit hydropower plants. And see what we can do to make them more flexible so that they play well together and we leverage that capacity with some of the modern sources that we have by using um, some storage that we call supercapacitors. So that's short-term energy storage. Eduardo Cotilla Sanchez is an associate professor of engineering and computer science and one of three OSU faculty on the project, helped by three graduate students. They are looking at hydropower storage improvements and how to make the entire power grid system more flexible as it receives more power from solar and wind generation. It's a big job. The power grid is, is the largest machine ever created by humans. So it is very tricky to do research when we actually need the grid to be connected to it and have electricity like we are chatting right now. So researchers look to prototypes and computer-generated models to do a lot of their work. Over the next three years, they hope to find advancements, large and small, that make a difference over the next five to ten years. But I think the idea is to try to, to get the most of the resources that we have locally. Uh, and locally is the cheapest that we can do in order to transfer electricity. Because if we send them far, uh, then we have a lot of losses. Tim Gordon, KGW News.